A while back on this channel, we had taken a look at Claude Engineer, an open source AI coder that runs directly within your terminal. At the time, we thought it was pretty groundbreaking because it was capable of executing terminal commands, autonomously working on tasks, and much more. This project was developed by a developer on X named Petro. Well, recently, Petro has taken things even further, and this time around, he is building on top of DeepSeek's powerful models, like the DeepSeek V3, as well as DeepSeek R1. He released a brand new agentic framework called DeepSeek Engineer V2, and it's a major step up from Cloud Engineer. DeepSeek Engineer V2 is a powerful AI-powered coding assistant that provides an interactive terminal interface for seamless code development, and it leverages the DeepSeek's advanced reasoning capabilities to deliver intelligent file operation, code analysis, and full development assistance, all through natural conversation and function calling. It's essentially like having a pair programmer built directly within your terminal, similar to Cloud Code, as well as many of these different terminal AI coders we've seen recently. But the thing is, with DeepSeek Engineer V2, it is something that is a bit better in terms of its output. You can have natural conversation without strict formatting. There's automatic file operation through intelligent function calling. There's real-time reasoning visibility with chain of thought capabilities. And there's enhanced reliability and better error handling than ever before. And it's even better than many of these other proprietary coding agents like Cloud Code as well as Open Code. You can execute various sorts of things like reading files, reading multiple files, creating files, creating multiple files, and then editing files across your code base. Just take a look at it live in action. This is where a prompt was sent in to create a rotating cube with a solar system inside all in HTML. And this is a prompt that is pretty difficult for most models to complete, but having it configured with the engineer itself, it was able to generate this, which is absolutely awesome. This is mostly thanks to the DeepSeek model, like I mentioned. It is exceptional in terms of its coding performance. You can either use DeepSeek v3, the updated 0324 release, or you can use the new DeepSeek R1, which is proficient in a lot of coding categories where it can go up against any of these proprietary models like OpenAI's O3 or even Gemini 2.5 Pro. Before we get started, allow me to introduce today's video sponsor, Plandex. If you ever used AI coding tools like Cursor or Codex, you probably know the feeling where you hit a wall once your project gets too big or too complex. That's where Plandex stands out. Plandex is a terminal-based AI development tool built for real-world software, not just toy apps or single-file scripts. It can plan, execute, debug large-scale coding tasks that span dozens of files and millions of tokens. Think 100k tokens per file and project maps across 20 million plus tokens. Just take a look at Plandex Live in Action, your coding agent designed for large projects and real-world tasks. In this example, Plandex can automatically start Chrome cache console errors, and walk through debugging browser apps like a pro. What's really unique is how it combines the best models from OpenAI, Claude, Gemini, and even open source models using the most cost-efficient and cost-effective model that is capable to step into your workflow and make the necessary changes. Plus the built-in diff review sandbox, the auto debugging, and the fine-grained execution control means you're always in charge and your code stays clean. So if you've ever felt limited by other tools, definitely recommend that you give Plandex a shot as it will push the boundaries of what's possible with AI-assisted development with the link in the description below. But with that thought, let's get right back into today's video. Now to install this, it's super simple. You're just gonna need to make sure you have the prerequisites fulfilled. Make sure you have Python 3.11 or above installed. Get installed to clone the repo, VS Code to have the engineer operate within. UV for the packages, and then a DeepSeek API key. Make sure it's linked to a billing account, and once you have these prerequisites fulfilled, we can get started. So first things first, what you wanna do is open up your command prompt and type in git clone, and then go over to the GitHub repo, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. Click on this green button and click copy to clipboard. Once you have copied the link, scroll back down and go back into your command prompt and put in a space and paste in the link and click enter. This will clone the repo, and now you can head over to the DeepSeek Engineer uh, directory by typing in CD DeepSeek Engineer. 
Now, what you can do is open up your DeepSeek engineer folder wherever you had it cloned within VS Code. And what I want you to do is right click on the left hand panel and click on create a new file. This is where we want to create a .env file. And within the .env file, we're going to want to copy this over here, which is the DeepSeek underscore API key, and then paste in our key over here. So go back into this new file and you can then paste this in and then afterwards paste in your API key and then simply paste in your key wrapped with the double quote. And once that is done, just simply click on file and click save. Now it's recommended that you use UV, but you can just simply go ahead and install it with pip install. And this is where you can simply copy the pip command and within your terminal, just paste this in once you are in the DeepSeek engineer directory and just simply go ahead and use the pip install command and install all the requirements. And to start up, use the Python command to start this up. So now I just need to simply run the Python command and it will start up the DeepSeek engineer v2. And you can see that it is now configured and ready to use. Right now I have it set to this current file path, but you can obviously change it by simply asking it within the terminal to change the path, or you can use the commands that are set within the repo. And in my opinion, if I'm working with the large code base, you would want to have it initialized by adding the path so that it is going to give context to your DeepSeek engineer to execute tasks to it. And it's super simple to do that. Just use the slash add path command to do so. And now we can ask it to do anything. I can say, create me a wallpaper app and add as many features as possible and it'll work on executing this task. So right away, it is gonna seek, which is where it's gonna use the thought process that the deep seek reasoning model does. And you can see that it's gonna thoroughly analyze and create a plan. And right now it is reasoning and creating all the steps needed to execute this task. Now guys, what I really love about this is that the deep seek model now has function calling built within so it's going to be able to tell the AI agents to execute various sorts of tasks, use different plugins and use different actions to tackle anything. So in this case, it is actually doing that by referencing different packages to code out the front end. So let's see what actually gen ends up generating for us. Now, it looks like the DeepSeek engineer has finished our app and I have simply opened it up within this wallpaper app that is created and it looks absolutely amazing, guys. You can see that this is the wallpaper studio app that it has generated. It also has the ability to change the brightness, contrast, and the saturation, which isn't something that I added. It did it on its own, which is awesome. The ability to categorize all of the different wallpapers, you can even full screen them. You even have this dark and light mode. Now, if I want, I can go back into the engineer and I can request it to change something. And that is why this is such an amazing Cly tool that you can work with. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. Now, one of the main reasons why I really love the new DeepSeek engineer is because it has automatic file reading. So I can simply just paste in this text to review the main.pod file and then suggest improvements. So in this case, what it's going to do is it's going to automatically read the files that I had mentioned, which is the main.py file, and it's going to be able to uh, give you an insight and review it over. So you can see right now it is doing that function call of reading the file and it's going to be able to execute the task. Now there's so much more to it. So I highly recommend that you take a look at this with the link in the description below. But that's basically it guys for today's video on this new DeepSeek engineer. It is powerful and it has a lot of new things that will make it even better than the previous engineer that we had showcased. But with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel. Join the newsletter as well as our Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.